Hi guys, so today I will be doing my version of the cheeseburger egg rolls um, from Disney. As you know, the cart hasn't been there in a while, or at least I did not see it um, the last time that I went. So sometimes you just have a craving for a snack or something that you ate at Disney. And great thing about the worldwide web is that you can find a lot of different recipes and make them to your liking so i found this recipe i added um a lot of items that it did not have one thing that i will express is that in my area i could not find egg roll wraps for the life of me so i did find a recipe I tweaked the recipe a little bit, but I'm going to make my own egg roll wraps, you guys, because I cannot find um, any wraps anywhere. So, let's um, get to the recipe. So, as you can see, I have ice cold water. I have my meat. It's, don't get alarmed, it has grated onions and garlic already on it um i prefer to grate my onions and um my garlic you may not you may choose to just cut it and dice it up that's fine i my preference is i want the flavor not so much the texture of the onion um i do have velveeta cheese all the way in the back if you can see right there i have some sharp cheddar cheese um, there's two cups of flour here. There's some pickles. This is more for the egg rolls that um, another family member wants because I do not particularly care for pickles. Um, two eggs. There's some salt, oregano, pepper, and some more salt for the meat, and some onion powder. Now, the... Um, the measurements will be in the description box, so don't fret. I will put them in there. Now, what I need to do is start making the um, dough for the egg roll wraps. So as you can see, I've already added the flour, the salt, and just one egg um, into the mixer, and I will start the mixer right now on low so you don't end up with flour everywhere now we'll gradually add the ice water it has to be ice water you guys make sure that whatever you do it is ice water that you're using The recipe that I found online for the egg roll wrapper, I'm not sure if this is authentic, um, but it seems simple enough, so that's what I'm using right now. This is a new venture for me, you guys, because normally I'm baking stuff. And I've never done dough um, before, not to this extreme. So this is definitely something new for me. So let's cross our fingers that it actually comes out. We're gonna let the dough mix for five minutes and hopefully it will be a nice, round, smooth ball that forms as long as the flour gets incorporated together. We'll be back then. You want to let this knead for five minutes. If anybody has done um, Spanish empanadas, this is what it reminds me of. This is the consistency of the dough. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to knead the dough for five minutes. Make sure that your surface is nice and floured as you're kneading 
the doll. So, let's see. You just want to make sure that it's no longer sticky and it's just smooth to your touch and it's more um, pliable to work with. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you flower your surface and let's see if it does it. It has enough glue in. I don't know if I mixed it enough where I'm able to spread it out. my hand but let's see so let's try this this seems fairly simple um to do i'm sure there's more detail um and other people do it different this is just the way that i choose to do it just to get that um that nice taste of an egg roll this is what i do you guys just to get <laughs> a taste of disney when i'm not able to just flip the dough around put a little bit more flour always have flour available even if you feel like it's too much um just have it available you may not use it at all I'm just sprinkling just a little bit of it at a time, but you pretty much know, like the dough speaks to you, you guys. Whatever it is that you do, this dough will let you know if it's had enough or not. I'm trying to make it as thin as possible, you guys, um, because based on what I've seen in, um, online or even like with um the images when i was trying to search for egg roll wraps in my area they seem fairly um thin so i'm trying to get it as thin as possible so that way i don't have nice thick um egg rolls but we will see. I think I'm getting there. I'm getting there, you guys. This is a nice doll. I like that it gives on you and it's very forgiving. It's not, it's not that bad. So as you can see, the meat is bubbling away and should be done in a few minutes. I'm gonna keep trying to make it into smaller bits. It's a pound of sirloin grounded. You can either get it already ground or you can ask your local butcher. My meat has cooled off a little bit, so I'm gonna start assembling these. And as you can see, it's super cheesy, you guys, so you wanna put it in the middle based on what I've seen in other videos you want to make sure you don't put it too far up or too far down I think that's enough so what I'm gonna do is in other recipes I found that people will put um, the pickles to cook with the meat, I, as I mentioned before, I'm not too fond of pickles, so I will add them as I see fit. So you're supposed to fold, fold, and then roll. Is that how it goes? Let's see. And then you, oh, 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 it's very thin right there. Then you roll it. I'm going to get a little bit of water, you guys. Okay, 
because I feel like that's the only way it's gonna stick to the end. Hopefully it stays. So now I'm going to gently place this in the oil. That's what they look like, you guys. I'm excited to see if they turn out. So you just keep them in medium, medium heat. If you need to turn down um, your oil, then do so. But just make sure that you cook them at least two to three minutes each side or until they're lightly brown, just keep turning them, you guys. Okay. So this is the end result of the egg rolls. And I did the Spanish um, version of mayo ketchup, which is just equal parts of mayonnaise and ketchup and a little bit of pepper. Some people put garlic in it. You can do it if you like. It tastes delicious. I figured you know, I wanted to dip these egg rolls in a ketchup-based um, dip, and that's basically what I did. If you like this video, please like so, and consider subscribing, and hit the notifications button so you don't miss any more videos like this. Thank you for watching.